Hi, now we're going to be carrying on with financial maths, moving on to budgets. When you have money, it's important to create a budget that is, which is a plan about how you are going to spend and save your money. When you are creating a budget, you need to identify your needs and your wants. First, what are the things that you really need? The things that you can't survive without and that you need money for? Those are your needs. Then you find you look at what are the things that you would like to have, but if you don't have enough money for it, then you can survive without it. Those are your wants. When you create a budget and you stick to it, then you should be able to make sure that you have enough money for the things that you need and hopefully have some left over that you can use for your wants and for savings. Savings are important because they allow you to protect yourself when unexpected expenses come along or that you haven't been able to budget for, or they allow you to uh, save up for something that you maybe really want that's more expensive that you couldn't otherwise afford. So savings are an important thing to consider when you are creating a budget. Um, a good guideline that you can use when you are creating a budget is to use the 50-30-20 rule, which says to put aside 50% of your income for needs, 30% for wants and 20% for savings. However, it's important to note that this rule doesn't necessarily work for everybody in, and you need to look at your own financial situation and see is it going to work for you in your situation. Okay, so let's have a look at our first example. In this example, we have Mary who gets a part-time job and earns 300 Rand every month. She identifies her needs, data and transport. She identifies her wants, snacks and entertainment. She draws up the following budget, 50 Rand on data, 100 Rand on transport, 30 Rand on snacks, 60 Rand on entertainment, and then she plans to save the rest. How much money will she be saving each month? Okay, so that's the first thing we're going to uh, work out is how much money she'll be saving each month. And then the next thing we're going to work out is, has she followed the 50, 30, 20 rule? Okay, so let's have a look at how we would work all of this out. Okay, so first of all, we know that her budget consists of these different things. We've got 50 Rand for data and 100 Rand for transport. Those are her needs. We know that she has 300 Rand altogether that she has available that she can use. Okay, so when she when we're working this out, we, we need to first work out how much money she will be able to save each month. So we need to work out how much she's going to have left after she uses the money that she's allocated for the different things that she needs them for. So we're going to see her savings will be equal to whatever is left over. So we take the amount of money she has, which is 300, and we subtract everything that she's planning on spending. So that's 50 Rand for data, and 100 Rand for transport, and 30 Rand for snacks, and 60 Rand for entertainment. And that gives you 300 minus 50 minus 100 minus 30 minus 60, gives you 60 Rand. So that is how much money she is planning on putting aside for savings. Then to find out if she's followed the 50, 30, 20 rule, what we can do is we can work out what percentage she spent um, out of her total income on each of the different categories, her needs, her wants, and her savings. So first let's have a look at needs. Okay, so for her needs, she has spent 100 Rand for transport and 50 Rand for data. So that's 100 plus 50 out of a total of 300 okay and we multiply that by 100 to get a percentage so that's 150 out of 300 times 100 and that gives you 50 percent okay so that's for needs then her wants we have got 100 rand sorry we have got 30 Rand on snacks and 60 Rand on entertainment. So that is 30 plus 60, also over the total of 300, multiplied by 100 to get a percentage. So that is 90 over 300 times 100, and that gives you 30%. And then finally, savings. There are two ways that you can work this out. You can either take what you've already worked out and say it's 100% minus the 50% she's spending on needs and minus the 30% that she's spending on wants, and that gives you 20%. Or you could also work it out 
by doing the same thing we did over here, by saying we know that it's 60 Rand on savings. So we take the 60 out of 300 and we work that out as a percentage. It will also give you 20%. So based on that, we can now see she has put aside 50% of her income for needs, 30% for wants, and 20% for savings. Now we can say, therefore, she has followed. the 50, 30, 20 rule. Okay, so that's how we would do that example. Right, so now I'm going to give you an example that you're going to work on for yourself. Um, in this example, it says Michael earns 500 Rand a month and draws up the following budget. He plans to spend 80 Rand on data, 50 Rand on transport, 50 Rand on snacks, 100 Rand on computer games, 80 Rand on entertainment, and then he will save the rest. What percentage of his earnings will he save if he sticks to his budget? Okay, so I am going to give you one minute to work on this. Okay, you should be done with that by now, so let's go through that example. So we start off by taking the amount of money that he earns, which is 500 Rand. And subtracting from that the amount of money that he is budgeting for each of the different things in his budget. So we're going to subtract the 80 Rand for data and the 50 Rand for transport and 50 Rand for snacks. 100 Rand for computer games and 80 Rand for entertainment and then we'll find out how much is left over to know how much he's planning on saving. So we take 500 minus 80 minus 50 minus 50 minus 100 minus 80 and that gives us 140 Rand. Okay so that's the amount of money that he's planning on saving out of the total amount of money that he earns. Now we can work out what percentage of his earnings he will uh, be saving if he sticks to his budget. So his savings percentage is going to be that 140 Rand that he's saving out of the total 500 that he earns and times that by 100 to get a percentage. And that gives you 28%. So you should have found that the percentage of his earnings that he will save is 28%. And that is how we work with budgets when we're doing financial maths. Now that we've learned the concepts in this lesson, it's important to practice, practice, practice. If you haven't already got the worksheet that goes with this video, you can find it by clicking on the link in the description below. The worksheet comes with an extra exercise full of questions for you to work on to master the concepts covered in this lesson. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button so that others can benefit from it too. Also be sure to subscribe so that you can easily find my other lessons and hit the bell so that you will get notified about lessons as I upload them.